Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Russell Hant Show. My name is Cam, and this is Aaron. Hello, hello. And today we are going to break down the physical games of the greatest Survivor players ever. So if you haven't seen it already, Russell and a group of Survivor fans and Survivor specialists, as one might say, they all got together, and even uh, Survivor players themselves, they all got together to create a list of the top 100 greatest Survivor players ever based off a number of criteria. Okay, so now we've taken the top 20 of that top 100, and in this episode of a three-part series, we're going to break down their physical gameplay. In the next episode, we're going to break down their social gameplay. That will air in two weeks on Sunday at the same time. So I'm pretty sure that's the 27th. Uh, feel free to tune in. And our group name is Simply Survivor. So we are here to talk about everything that's Simply Survivor. So starting with the physical games, we're going to go ahead and tier them with a tier list. So Aaron, yes, sir. let's jump right on into it. First off, before we even get in, the, look at this beautiful piece of art I've created here. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I, I did this all myself. No. Uh, we're using uh, we're using a website called Tier Maker, and uh, guys, after this episode, make sure uh, to check the description. We're gonna have this tier list that you can make your own. Uh, this template you can make your own list, and uh, make sure to share it on social media. Use hashtag Simply Survivor, and we'll uh, we'll check that out. But uh, the first person we got here is uh, number twenty on the list, Coach coach now cameron i'm very intrigued to see where you think coach belongs I'll, I'll let you uh i'll let you say where you think okay coach is an interesting player when it comes to physical gameplay actually you know what before we jump into this why don't we set kind of a vague criteria yeah, yeah. let's set a vague criteria of what we mean by physical gameplay so basically your ability to hunt food to your basically your basic survival skills as well as your competition uh, performance in physical challenges. Now there are mm -hmm. challenges that are based off of puzzles and that are completely puzzles. And we're not necessarily focusing on those, just the ones that have a physical based performance. Everything that has survive in survivor, basically like all the physical, <laughs> all the physical aspects of survivor will be taken account in this list. I would yes. say. So, so that would, that would include finding idols, challenges, uh, collecting food, all that stuff. Well, it, in in some aspects, I guess you would say finding an idol. It, it yeah, can yeah. be physical, and others it can, it can be. be sometimes you're just walking by and you see it in the bush. But right, hey, and we won't we won't include that into <laughs> yeah. a physical factor. Exactly. All right, so I guess we're gonna start off with Coach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Coach is an interesting character. Um, in terms of physical gameplay, throughout Token Teens, Heroes versus Villains, and even South Pacific, he seemed to have more of an average physical gameplay, not kind of doing too much in the negatives, not too, doing too much in the positives, but he mm -hmm. does have kind of a weird niche. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but in Token Teens, he had a grappling hook uh, individual immunity competition, and he actually managed to win the grappling hook competition, and arguably when he needed it. Mm -hmm. Now, I watched that and I was like, okay, you know, that's physical, that's helpful. But then in Heroes versus, or actually in South Pacific, he won the grappling hook competition again for his whole tribe, which is much more competition. So yeah. I think those are aspects that we should keep in mind, right? Coach is definitely not bad. I'll, I'll give him that. He is definitely not bad. I would say he's above average as well. He He's definitely a, a strong uh I, I would say he's a strong strong in the challenges. He does well for his uh, tribes. Usually the tribes that he is on, they win the challenges. And uh, like he I I I don't know the exact statistics, but I do know that he does well. Like his tribes are usually doing well, right? Right. I know in South Pacific there was a bit of a battle with Aussie mm -hmm. and coaches tribes. They went back and forth, but back and forth, it, yeah. It's Aussie. You know, that's what are you gonna do? <laughs> we'll um, get to him. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to him. One downside for Coach that I think really is something to include, something to not forget. In Token Teens, 
he decided when he was going to Exile Island that he wasn't going to do anything. He wasn't going to light fires. He wasn't going to make food. Uh, I think Honestly, he ended up... I would say that that's a bonus. <laughs> well, hold on. He, he only drank water. So some might say that's a physical feature. That's incredible. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. But the very next immunity challenge, he got a back spasm and fell. And he was in second place, losing to JT. And then... He got voted out that time. So it's like, that's a factor. You have to include yeah. that. You had a back spasm and it got you voted out of the game due to not wanting to supply I would yourself. say that that's more of a strategic fault than a physical because if he, if he actually, you know, treated himself well eating and, you know, doing more than drinking water, I'm sure he would have fared better in that challenge. But he was like, no, I'm going to. I'm just going to drink water. I'm just going to experience the elements. <laughs> and it's like, right. yeah, I think that's physically impressive, I think, honestly. Okay. All right. So we're going to have to work with that a bit. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, he dominated Colby in Heroes versus Villains. Do you remember that? I do. He literally <laughs> dragged him to score a point. Yeah. So that's got to factor in as well. All mm -hmm. right. With all this said, where are you thinking about putting him, Aaron? Mm. Now, I'm not thinking. I'm thinking C. Yeah. I'm thinking let's put him in the C tier. See I'm how the other he, players. I'm thinking he's going to be a in. high. I think I'm thinking he's going to be a high C. To be honest, I don't know. I'm thinking mid to low due to the back spasm. Mm. But <laughs> I might what, be too point. hard on him. So we'll see. All right, now Amanda. Amanda's definitely going to be placed higher than Coach, but nothing too special, I would say. Uh, pretty cool feature in the beginning of her uh, season in I think China. Uh, she got her top pull down, still scored a point for the tribe. In kind of impressive. I was not expecting you to say that, and I almost spit out my water. <laughs> I was like, where, where is he going with this? <laughs> yeah. Um, she won the dish stacking final immunity in her season. That's, in mm -hmm. that's impressive, right? Yeah. I would say due to her uh, you know, immunity wins in China, her and Todd were able to control the game. So I, I think that that kind of, that has to, you know, be considered. I, I, this, is what, this is what I'm thinking, Cam. I don't, okay. I don't know if you agree. Like, uh, maybe e. low B. Okay. Um, I'm thinking B is pretty good. She won two final immunities, actually. I think the second one was in Micronesia. Mm -hmm. And before that, she even won a, uh, another challenge where you had to get the uh, fill the bamboo with water, grab the key, and then build the ladder. She's mm -hmm. pretty impressive on that too. So, yeah, not too many problems. She came out early in Heroes versus Villains and when the wall foothold challenge. But I don't think that's too much of a problem. I'd put her in low B. Yeah, I think I think low B fits her. Now okay. Tina. Okay, now I think just looking at Tina, you'd be like, oh, definitely a D tier. <laughs> but <laughs> but like blood versus water when she's older, mind you. She kicked ass. <laughs> yeah, she was pretty impressive on Redemption Island. Like, I, I don't even think we need to say much about... I'm just kidding. No, she's definitely... She definitely deserves to be an A tier. Like, I think two I, things... I, two specific things make me want to put her in... Uh, <laughs> make me want to put her in A tier. Okay, Cam, number look one. At, look at the latest comment we just got. <laughs> Amanda is very attractive, <laughs> but she should be S tier. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that, that made me crack up. Oh my goodness. Okay, she's sticking in B tier for now, all right? Listen, that's a different physical, all right? That's it. Um, so, Tina, two things that really make me want to put Tina exactly where you put her, in the kind of mm. low A tier. Uh, well, I guess right now she's just in the A tier, but we'll see a bit later on. I think Tina did two, two features. One, she... Almost outlasted Keith on on the where you have to stay on the pole, which which she I, th I don't know how long they went on a couple hours, mm -hmm. um, but it was incredible. And yeah. then she gave it up for Keith, even though because she needed she needed to have Keith have the immunity idol so they wouldn't vote against him for an old tiebreaker situation. But I think Tina honestly could have won that. I think sh if she kept staying on there, she could have kept going. Yeah. No. She. Honestly, I think blood versus water alone, not even taking account Australia. She like 
her her stay, her visit on Redemption Island was just so impressive to me. Like she kept herself in the game, and and she had some worthy opponents, and she stayed so second many. Place. She beat Hayden, Vetus, Aris. Like she she beat so many people. Wow. Like yeah. physically, that's and incredible. She beat Laura, who was. You know, yeah, yeah and Laura was carrying that whole Redemption Island arc until the very end, the last challenge. Tina came in with mm -hmm. a reversal switched karate chop and then yeah, got her Uno, Uno, reverse card. Uno, Uno like. reverse card <laughs> came in for the win. And I think that's a huge. Now, there was one puzzle out of the Redemption challenges, and then one of them where you had to put like the tower together to build mm -hmm. a house of cards. But still, altogether, managing to get through all of that and then land first place and get back in the game. That's incredible. So it's very impressive. I think. I mean, this is not necessarily a spoiler considering Ozzy's coming up here, but like Redemption Island to survive that long, like on Redemption Island, I think is very impressive to, to it's make impressive. It back. However, I think the last thing, I guess the nail in the coffin on this one hmm. is that she actually swam across a, like a raging river in the deep end to get rice for the tribe in the middle of the <laughs> night when like Keith is trying to go through the shallow end and he, she's like, Keith, don't do that. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. And she managed to get all the way through, grab the rice and get all the way back. I know it's not like a challenge or anything. That's, that's physically impressive. I would say I mean, I for would... her size and, and a guy, a big guy was trying to do it too. And mm -hmm. I mean, Keith isn't the biggest guy, but much bigger than her and was like having trouble. So I thought that was kind of impressive. So no, she, she definitely deserves her spot on in, in the A tier. I think I agree. Okay. Uh, all right. Lower now. <laughs> Next up on the list, our 16th uh, greatest survivor player ever, actually 17th, is Johnny Fairplay. Aaron, how do you mm. feel about Johnny Fairplay's physical gameplay? Okay, physical gameplay. Um, <laughs> I, I, guess, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just where my heart is thinking right now. <laughs> I, I I would put Johnny right right behind Coach. And yeah, let me explain I, why. I, I think that that's fair. I, I don't <laughs> think Johnny did anything that was terrible physically. But no, I also I, I'll, I'll argue this though. Coach actually adds to the challenge and takes charge, right? Right. I don't think Johnny does anything. Like he just okay. he's just kind of a body. So Well, hold on. I mean, okay, in challenges, yes. I mm. I can kind of see where you're coming from, mm. but there was something that I've I found out kind of going back and I realized that hey, this is kind of impressive. Mm. It's kind of it's 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 physical. Um, there was a vote early on in the game between Johnny on Pearl Islands between Johnny and Sean. Hmm. And Johnny's main argument was like, guys, my work ethic is better. You know, keep me because of my work ethic. I mean, so it's yeah, physical, that is. And they kept him because of it. He did put a lot of work around camp. I'm not I'm not going to deny that. I was thinking mainly challenges. You know, I, I think that swayed me. I think C tier is fair because C tier, but right below coach coach had a bit more active uh presence yeah, in these i think challenges. i think johnny's gonna be low c that would be my uh that'd be my guess but yeah you did you did sell me on the fact that he he, he did have a high work ethic and i think that that is important for this you know tier list and i think that goes for tina as well i we forgot to mention that mm. she had a very high work ethic as well she was the mom of the of the tribe <laughs> practically and, and that could be a good position to be in as well. Yeah. All right. Okay, now I think we're going to get our first D. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this is this is frustrating because honestly, I, I feel like personally, I feel like if I had joined Survivor around the same time Rob did, I would probably be performing the same, the same way physically speaking. Oh, if I was listening myself, I'd be F. <laughs> like, uh, let's just get that. Uh, listen, I I know people watching this. Yes, okay. I am I am very much a Q-tip. All right. Oh. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell out these people and oh, like Tina's, hype up myself. Tina skinny. She got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. But like, I I I would definitely be below all of these people. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So but I do this, think Rob is a detail. <laughs> this is my this is my situation with Rob. Mm -hmm. Again, like fair play, I don't think he had too many positives and too many negatives throughout his two seasons. 
Um, I personally would maybe put Rob behind fair play, but still in C tier. Mm. And if you disagree, then we'll talk about that as well. Because I think his work ethic at camp, like he did have a good work ethic, I would say, but not as good as fair play, I would say. Nothing so you special. Think, so you think his work ethic puts him into C, but because Rob is so didn't bad at challenges, the- like so he's just a body. Everything he's a, is- right. He's not bad. There, there are two situations. The body yeah. thing, I get, I get, uh, I totally get what you're saying. There mm-hmm. was a challenge where he was in a cage, and everybody had to unpick the locks to get out of the cage. And uh, like I said, I, I probably would have been the same way. But Rob was sitting there, like, you know, and, and that's I, only what they showed. I specifically remember in All Stars, Boston Rob was like, Rob C failed on a on a puzzle, and that should be where he shines. And I know that that's not necessarily physical, but that's still a challenge in my book. So, right. So, yeah, okay. So I, I, I think that I think Rob C he's going to fare better in other tier lists. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I guess the puzzle isn't physical. And so we don't need to include that. But even if you take that out of the picture, mm-hmm. um, you in know, you general, have, you have the that challenges. cage situation and yeah. on the balance beam, he was having some trouble, but there was somebody worse than him. And he took the credit, but if they weren't there, you know, mm-hmm. how much would have Rob really slowed them down? So, like I said, like I, I probably would have played just like him, but I think D tier is the way to go. High yeah. D tier, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's not going to be, no, he's not going to be the lowest. Okay. Now, now Yule, we're not going to have much to say about Yule, I feel. I, 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 feel- I agree. I don't have really <laughs> anything to say about Yule. I think he was just an outstanding uh, survivor player, but physically, um, he didn't have any negatives that i recall or any no. positives that i recall he's, he's that's like, notable there's gonna be better days for you all right we'll keep it at that <laughs> i would actually okay yeah i like where you put yule i agree i think that's a good spot for i him. mean he found an idol on X, on exile island uh... <laughs> okay that's, next that's... on the list <laughs> i in, mean in some contrast right I, I just feel like there's so little to say about Yule, and that's so hard to believe because I love you. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. I think he was a great player, and I think his strategic game was through the roof. And we'll get to that. And he has abs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's in great shape physically. Great? Which I, guess is, I guess that's where the disappointment comes in, right? Yeah. I mean, he's so he was in such good physical shape. You kind of expected. Maybe I think a if bit he more. came back from extinction in uh, Winners at War we would place him a little bit higher because he was second or third. Like he was, a, he was very close to actually getting back in, uh, in the first challenge, okay. I believe. Okay. He did have some advantages, but, or was it the second one? I, I think it was remember. the second one, but yeah. he did have, if a- it was the second one, then it, yeah, yeah, he did have the advantages, but yeah, you'll, oh, man, I just, I, you need to play again. You'll, so we can put you higher. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I would still want to see him again. Now, from so going from Yule, where we have nothing to say, we have Ozzy. Absolute. O- I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we can put Ozzy in the F tier. He's terrible. He sucks. <laughs> I mean, he's the worst physical survivor player ever. <laughs> okay, so take everything I said about Tina on Redemption Island and just add the theatrics that Ozzy had. I think, man, he's just an absolute beast. I think he, this is something. No, okay, keep. Yeah. He. He gets himself voted out. Like he's like, guys, vote me out. I'm gonna go beat the person on Redemption Island and get myself back in. And he does it, and then he gets voted out again, and then he does it again. He like he was just a monster, and that's only including South Pacific. That's yeah. not including every other season he's been on. Yeah. Where he's it, just been a monster in the immunity challenges. And he was he was incredible off the bat in terms of survival skills alone i mean able to crawl up trees to get coconuts he was a crazy good He's fisherman freaking tarzan and not um, tarzan from one world <laughs> <laughs> right a different kind of tarzan yeah but uh yeah incredible off the bat um he even knew early on physically i guess people know to get out the weak tribe but he mm-hmm. specifically threw a challenge to get out a weak member of his tribe which I thought was interesting, but the whole the whole tribe agreed, and it was a physical mm. type move, and they wanted to get the weakest player. So his physical gameplay was so strong that it extended literally out from just an individual gameplay. It affected his tribes mm-hmm. in, in in terms of wins. I mean, it was it was incredible. 
he wasn't even just good at challenges. He was so good at providing for the camp, whether it was fishing like a monster or, you know, getting all the firewood. He was just, he's just S tier in all the marks of physical survivor. Like, right. And then, it, so we got six straight immunity or six straight redemption challenge wins in a row. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, he got, he got one, came back, got voted off again, and then went through five more and then came back on. And like which, the people on South Pacific were not slouches, I would say physically, not all of them. <laughs> and then in uh, what was yeah. his, his original season was um, Survivor Cook, Cook Islands, right? Yeah. How many individual immunity challenges did he even win that season? I think it wasn't was, it five or four? Four five, or five? I think it was like four or five. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was. He has the record. I do know that, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, <laughs> I, I believe he has the record. But as stated, Ozzy is far and away, I think, the best physical survivor player. I would say. Now there is one stipulation, I guess, about Oz Ozzy that maybe we should mention. Um, mm -hmm. There was, do you know the challenge where you hang with your arm above in the bucket of water? And yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So Ozzy decided to sit out of that challenge for donuts. He sat out for donuts and he got voted out. Yep. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Ozzy? Like, yeah, that, <laughs> uh, listen, all right. That's strategic. And we're going <laughs> to, we'll get yeah, there. there are, th yeah, I guess that, that's, there's a strategic aspect. I'm just going to say this right now. This is compete. Ozzy's best day <laughs> for, in, in, like for the tier lists. He is yeah. gonna, he, it's not going to be getting much better from here for him. But to give credit where credit is due, Ozzy yes. is an amazing physical survivor player. Um, obviously so far he is the best on the list. We haven't gotten through all of them, yeah. but who knows? Just look at his track record as well. Like he's, his placements it's he's, almost flawless it's yeah. almost flawless which is incredible i mean he would have won cook islands against anybody else i would say but you'll that just i mean we'll get to you in the strategic uh list that just shows like how ozzy played the best physical game but it didn't matter it was the jury was viewed way Yule's, too strong yeah so i think uh, not to spoil the list, I just I I don't see anyone else uh, overthrowing Ozzy. I agree. Honest. I personally, like I said, we're still going down the list. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We don't Maybe know. Who, beats him. Hey, who knows? Maybe uh, Tina will get back up here. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree. I think Ozzy is absolutely f phenomenal. Yeah. All, All right. right. Now Tyson. Tyson. Tyson in token chains was a beast. Was kind of cocky, got himself voted out because he threw a challenge for pizza. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's interesting that you say that. Tyson had uh, some great performances in token teams. Number one, his tribe was down from four to two. Winner is five points. His tribe is down four to two, and he it was a, where you ta where they slingshot the ball and you catch the ball in your net. Right, mm -hmm. he brought his tribe back single handedly from two. All the way to, all the way to five, <laughs> and and won the and, and won that round for his tribe single handedly. Yeah. So that's that's impressive. Speaking now, of single handedly, uh, in blood versus water, he had to lower his threat level by I injuring himself. <laughs> I mean, he didn't intentionally do that, of course. Right? Was it but... Hayden who popped his shoulder? Or yeah, somebody popped I, his I shoulder. believe it. I believe it was Hayden. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he his physical game took a little bit of a. A little bit of a From that. low profile, but he started to win challenges in the later half when he needed them. I'm sure if he didn't win, uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure which immunity it was, but it was near the end of the game. Jervis would have cut him. Like, was 100%. it the water slide, the final immunity? He won that. Oh, he, it was the, okay. Yeah. He, he won an immunity and Jervis very easily would have cut him. Uh, cut him and so would uh monica i would say yeah and so he won when he needed to according yeah. so okay. that is I, I i don't know about you i think boop i think that's oh. a fair assessment i i haven't even gotten into so then extinction right after island extinction island he freaking he won the first time he came back oh winners at war he came winners back at war edge of extinction yep he that was that's and, another huge bonus yeah 
So I I think I I think Tyson is very much edging <laughs> edging. He is edging the S tier. I think he's getting close, but yeah. um like I said, like or like you said, mm. he sat out for pizza and got voted out. I think those are I think that would have brought Ozzy yeah. down if he wasn't just so incredible, but it I mean it's it it factors in. It's not well, the Well, to worst. be fair, wait, Ozzy sat out for donuts as well. Right, but I think Ozzy is just on such another level that it's not yeah. enough to bring <laughs> him down. Let's be real. It's it's not even close compared. <laughs> um with that being said, Tyson also won immunity challenges back to back uh in token teens, but then he sat out for pizza right after. So mm -hmm. in terms of physical gameplay, if you're gonna come off as a threat, you might as well just keep that perception because yeah. it's not going to change once once you've won like two immunities back to back right when the merge happens and then you sit out for pizza oh tyson <laughs> yeah i i think tyson's physical game is very much what allows him to make it so far in a lot of these games or a lot of these seasons is because he's so like he's so good for your tribe you never want to get him out early i would say he will always provide what like he does enough work. I think there's a quote where he says, you want to do enough work where you're not perceived as lazy so you don't get voted out. <laughs> but he does enough work where he's not perceived as lazy and he does well in the challenges. Um, this is interesting. Kobe mm. says, Natalie isn't on here, but she's S just saying. I, I can definitely, argument. I could definitely. Her winners that. at war performance, in my opinion, brings yeah. her really high up. I mean, I don't know if she's, better than ozzy no Try she's not better than ozzy no. no but ozzy's played more i i think i think put he's had natalie, more opportunity to show his skills yeah put natalie in ozzy's shoes i think yeah we we would be telling a different story i think but agreed i think i think natalie would also be an s tier all right who is next we got that tom tom and i'm palau i'm gonna level with you cam I don't know too much about Tom, but I do. The one thing I do know is that he's a challenge beast, and I think that's the only <laughs> thing you need to know. I mean, there's not, there's not much going on with Tom. Um, I will say two impressive features. I guess you might want to. He enjoy. caught a fucking shark. <laughs> he got in a friendly fishing contest and caught a shark, so that's pretty incredible, in my opinion. Uh, then he won the egg eating uh, that where he had to eat those eggs. Uh, he beat his opponent in in that competition for his tribe. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's a little nice bonus. Um, he did in heroes versus villains. He had a he had a pretty good sumo performance. Got his <laughs> opponent down in three hits. Not yeah. bad. I I think Tom is a very. I don't know if you. Um, I'm think I'm thinking like slightly below Tina. In fact, I would put Tom in, in front of Tina. And the reason I say Ooh. that, in fact, I would put Tom. He, the question he is, did, does he go in he front did of Tyson? Win, he did win his season on the back of all these challenge wins, you know? Right. So that's that's, that's yeah. the thing is, that's, that's the, the thing. one thing we haven't brought up is that he had five individual immunity challenge in, in his season. So that's, I guess, what? That's the record as well. Individual yeah, immunity I, he's tied five, with Ozzy. Which is like whoa crazy. anybody who could do that crazy <laughs> yeah so, i think i think tom is definitely gonna be hard tom, for someone to beat I his think. heroes versus villains uh performance like i said he did all right in the sumo wrestling he got leg locked by russell in the very beginning <laughs> couldn't move i thought that was uh kind of a, a bit of a negative and he on was his older part. as well like, he was older so yeah, you have to include he that. still did well like I, I, I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. And another reason why I think Tina's performance in Blood versus Water is so impressive, you know? And I think that I think that getting leg locked by Russell might be <laughs> the only physical downfall that you might ever see from him. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, the other performances are average, and then the ones where he excels, he excels at. He stayed on a on that buoy for uh what oh my god 12 yeah. hours yeah he okay you, you've sold me he's definitely definitely high a tier okay i i think i think when you think of tom you think of how how physically you know intimidating he is <laughs> like he's just a beast so right. yeah a tier right. for tom now i think a tier is going to be getting even more full with kim but the question is the question I, is where to place i her. would put kim at high b tier Mm. I would put it right above Amanda 
because I think mm. just like Amanda, she, you know, she had a good number of wins and performances, mm -hmm. but Amanda had a few, you know, she couldn't stay on that, that wall, you know, standing between the walls and, and on your feet that mm -hmm. she got down pretty early. I don't think Kim had any physical failures. Yeah. To that and, come, and come to think of it, uh, I believe Tina Tyson and Tom, they won when they needed to. I don't necessarily think Kim did. And well, I, I disagree. I mean, okay, I, I agree yeah. and I disagree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think Kim didn't need it. However, if she didn't have it, I think they may have thought about voting her out more. That's giving, that's giving that season a little bit more credit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, you got a point. But she won five, Im five immunity challenges that season too, right? So she tied yeah. with Tom. She won a reward challenge that season as well. Uh, mm -hmm. And the five that she won, the five immunities were all physically physically based. The reward mm -hmm. challenge, um, that was the loved ones challenge. So we so have to we have to ask ourselves: Do we think winning Redemption Island, getting ourselves back in the game, is mm. more more credible than winning a shit ton of immunities? <laughs> I don't know. I think this is where I'm. Th I'm thinking she's a tier as well, slightly below Tina because Tina literally fought for her life you know i think i think that that and she was more helpful around camp i would say than kim but i would say kim is definitely a strong challenge contender okay i agree i think that's a good spot for kim oh we got oh, a comment okay. from Justin. Tom right? should surely be S tier. Zero tribal immunity losses and five individual immunities. Yeah, so I see your point, Justin. I totally get what you're saying. The the five individual immunities is incredible. But like we were just talking about, um well, actually, no, I guess we were wrong. Kim had four. But still yeah, uh, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. that's close. But I think the one reason, Justin, the one reason why Tom doesn't go into S tier is because he wasn't as physically he wasn't a good a, as good as a provider he did catch a shark but i mean ozzy was out there all the time getting mm -hmm. the coconuts getting the fish doing all kinds of things on a physical level that tom wasn't necessarily doing yeah and i also, think i think s tier means you are the best at every aspect of surviving and i would say physically. tom has the yeah exactly physical yeah i think tom has the challenges aspect of physical game down pat i i think if it was just that in consideration he would be the top even higher than ozzy i think but right there's there's other aspects to physical survivor that i think that he should be a tier right and i think i if you if he had more seasons i think he might be a bit past his prime now but if he had mm -hmm. more seasons like ozzy did he might have had more opportunity to show s tier level gameplay but yeah because we didn't get that that's the only reason right now that he's the highest of the A tier. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Tom will do. Uh, actually, I don't know if he'll do we'll better see. than the other two. Of us. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Socially, I think he was all right, but we'll he see. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, JT, man. Okay, you 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 need to sell me on why he doesn't deserve to be A tier because I I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I no, he does. I think he I think he should go uh, right after Tom and right right. Before Tyson, yep. Yeah, I, I was right there. I was thinking this, but this this also works. I'm thinking that works out a bit better. Um, there are only two noticeable downfalls for JT. One, mm. uh, he had a rough start getting fish for the tribe, him and Steven, at the beginning of Token Teens. Mm. And then also, he had a, a situation where he was using a slingshot, and he had to get this tile, and he decided, I'm just going to go super fast, but that led him to keep missing all the tiles. Yeah. So I mean, but those two things, as like, they're not much. They're yeah. not much at all. And, and those he are like the was only incredible downfall. at providing. I would say. I think he was. He was fairly good. Yeah. yeah. And but there's one thing also his tenacity. I guess I don't know if tenacity is the right word. His endurance mm. is incredible. He broke a tooth in that same uh, net catching challenge with the tennis yeah. ball that Tyson won for the tribe. And he almost single-handedly won the tribe. If you remember, I told you they were down four to two, those four points that they had when they needed five to win, those four points were by JT alone. Yeah. yeah. So that's he's, incredible. He's honestly, he's 
upper upper tier, I think. Like he's he's really phenomenal in the physical aspect of Survivor. Like, he won four challenges, the same as Kim, four individual mm-hmm. immunities, as well as, in token teams, as well as if I'm if I'm correct, as well as a final immunity, which would have been the fourth one in token teams. And I think those are important as well. Final and that, immunity. He needed that. Uh, Steven would have cut him, I believe. No, St- both Steven and Aaron were going to yeah. cut him. <laughs> he was gone if he didn't win that. Uh, it's debatable that Steven was going to cut him, but I think we all know Steven was going I to cut Steven him. I think Steven was going to cut him. <laughs> so, I, yeah, that alone puts him above Tyson. Now, Jeremy. I think Jeremy is... B tier, below below Amanda, but B tier. Interesting. He did win the rope course first challenge against his wife. I don't know how much of a physical feature that is. <laughs> it was his only competition. We'll, we'll, we'll count that. Um, he could have done a bit better in the arm water challenge in Winners at War. He left that. He left that pretty early. I don't think that's very good. But. Two things. Mm. He did win the challenge where you have to stay on the pole in Winners yes. at War, which was that was fairly very incredible. impressive because of the freaking rain, man. Oh, that, dude. Was it raining? Was it raining that challenge? I believe it was, wasn't it? Okay. It, it was. I know it was raining that day, so the the totem I just were, really I just slipping. recall he won it, and like I think he, I think he, uh, not sure who was right before him. Maybe Denise. I'm not positive, but he. he I don't know. He crushed yeah. it. He won. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then as well as the final immunity in, uh, was it Cambodia? blood versus water? Cambodia. No, he, yeah, it was Cambodia. Yeah, yeah. That's right. He didn't even get that far. No, he was <laughs> the first juror, right? No, he, he, oh, first juror. I'm and not sure. I believe so. He, he was, I don't early, know if he made it to jury. He was he, early. No, he was in jury. He was, he was early jury. I do know. Okay. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think you're right. Mm-hmm. With that being said, um, He's above he's above the C tier because I think he always in I'm thinking purely tribe challenges, not necessarily immunity challenges. I think his tribe challenges performances were phenomenal, I think. He was okay. always always just a beast, like in terms of uh, you know, helping his team out. Okay. I, I, I agree. I think he was a bit above average, I guess, in the physical performances uh, with the, with the tribe. I think B low tier, right under Amanda, is a good place to put him because he did have some wins. You can't yeah. forget it. Um, uh, we got we got an interesting comment from CK. I think we got to clarify. So uh, uh, these are <laughs> we are okay. Taking, uh, we are the players these. from the top twenty uh, Survivor players from Russell's channel. Of the so, top one hundred greatest Survivor players ever. Yeah. If you haven't seen the list, go check it out. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Obviously, if we were just doing physical games, like the best physical survivor is uh, yeah, these are not the top twenty physical survivors. These are the yeah. top twenty survivors physical gameplay. Exactly. Important. Yeah. So we're gonna, as we stated earlier, we're gonna be uh, doing three parts. All good. All good. CK. I see. You. I see you <laughs> apologizing. It's all good. But um, yes, back to Jeremy. I do think Jeremy is above Coach. Fair play. I agree. Role. I think he because he's good done. Spot. He's done enough. He's done enough to not be, you know, just average. I think. I he's, agree. Yeah. All right. Sarah. Speaking of average, <laughs> we are I, now. What is this? Number eight. Yeah. I. Okay. I'll put her. I'll put her. I'll put her above fair play and you'll. I okay. think. I th- and here's she had a good reason. work ethic. I know her that. work ethic was amazing. I think her tribe performances or tribe immunity performances should not be understated. In uh, the Braun tribe in Kageon, they were so good. That tribe was phenomenal. Just always right. winning every challenge. And you know, I think, I think as a tribe, like she did a lot. Uh, like she helped the tribe quite a bit. But I agree. When it comes to individual immunity and you know overall physical, I think she's not the best, but she's definitely not the worst. And some downfalls. The um in World at War, you know the arm water one again with Jeremy where he dropped early. Yeah. Sarah did the same thing. She dropped fairly early on, and, and now, she lost fire making as well. Yep. There you go. She lost fire making against Tony. So that's these are important things to remember because you know 
those are physical aspects that affect your game. I mean, it got her voted out losing, mm-hmm. losing against Tony or not voted out eliminated. And she I would guess. have won or I would say that, I mean, that's debatable, but I think she, I mean, that's more of a chance. She would have had more of a chance than getting out at fourth. It's, it's arguable <laughs> that in winners at war, everything came down to Sarah's fire making ability, her physical yeah. gameplay in that point, And she didn't have it. So I think that's, I think that's good to put her where you put her because it was devastating, but in, in terms of tribe immunities and work ethic, I think she did a pretty decent job. I'd say so. Yeah. All right. Next on the list, the one and the only Russell, Russell Hans. Hans. Okay. I would say we are going to put him. I would put him in front of Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I think um, naturally in his season's, in the general challenges, Russell's fast and he's strong. Mm-hmm. Like he 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 gives a hundred and ten percent effort in all of his challenges. That's my opinion. Uh, I'm sorry, I was reading the comments. Uh, did we did we say that Sarah won immunity by accident? I don't I don't I don't know. No, I I don't think the only kind of immunities we were talking about with Sarah was her tribe immunities. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. tribe where a tribe she might have been on one immunity possibly mm. due to her participation. Yeah, I I th- I think Sarah's good where she is. Yeah, no, yeah, let's let's move on with yeah, Russell. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Sorry. Russell. I think Russell uh, you know, won when he needed to. He won the final immunity uh for both heroes versus villains and for Samoa. Yep. On, that is an impressive feat, I would say. And arguably needed it. Yes. Definitely. And he's always you know, he's always being, like you said, very helpful in the tribe challenges. Good work, ethic. Good oh, work uh, great worth, work ethic, I would say. That's why I think he's above uh, Jeremy and, and Amanda, because you could just see how much he's, he's like, how hard he is working. When it comes to physical, I think he won three total uh, physical uh, immunity challenges, which is fairly impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, it may not have been as much as Amanda, But I think you also have to look at the effort that they're putting in physically to the challenges. There are two stipulations I have for Russell. Uh, I thought his physical game was great. He could have done better in Heroes vs. Villains in the sumo competition. And um, he could have stayed on the pole a bit longer in the same season. But really, those are Mm -hmm. the only two, again, negatives that I find for Russell. So Another interesting thing to keep in mind for Russell is he was the first survivor to find... Uh, immunity idol without a clue and i think that that is a physical part of the game i mean he was going through looking as hard as he possibly could more than everyone else so i i would say that that's definitely a bonus as well i think it's good to touch up on one more thing too is it might be small but he was looking for an idol and dave was on his ass okay and russell was like i'm just gonna take off full sprint use my speed and he Mm -hmm. did it and he managed to lose dave so i know it's not a competition and you're not going through work ethic but you managed to use your physical characteristics in the non-physical setting to get an advantage and i think that yeah and we'll get we'll get to tony but whenever i think of whenever i think of looking for an idol i think of (laughs) tony's kage on just like (laughs) (laughs) Every time he finds one, he's like, I'm off. Yeah, run. yeah, yeah. I know that's unrelated, but that's that reminded me of that. Okay. I Cameron, I can't believe it. We're finally going to have someone in F tier. <laughs> I, unfortunately for Sandra, I'm going to have to agree. I think yeah. Sandra agrees as well. I think she doesn't take pride in her physical game. What do you think, Aaron? You know, I think the fact that she's named the sit-out bench the Sandra bench just says it all. Physical physical game is not her priority she's she clearly says that she says that in the reunion of heroes versus villains but sadly for sandra that's what we're uh, ranking here today and uh i don't think there's any arguments to be had for her being above f <laughs> now i will say i don't know how many of she them- caught a fish she caught a fish or oh, yeah, she or, or the shark in uh, Winners at War. <laughs> no, that was Tony. Tony caught the shark. Uh, well, yeah, I, Sandra I, I, laid <laughs> the trap, but Tony. Yeah, yeah. Picked Tony it. picked it up. <laughs> now I won't say how 
Mm. Many Colleen, of these Colleen were, is making a great point, a good point that uh, Sandra is great at puzzles. However, but, puzzles are in the strategic. Yeah. They're going to be in the more strategic episode later down the road. Sandra fans, don't worry. She will. She'll, she'll have her moment. She'll she'll be better. But this is not her moment. This is not her moment. I'm sure she would agree. Um, <laughs> like I said, I don't know how many of them were puzzles. Yeah. But she did sit out over 12 challenges. I think 13 challenges her whole career, which is like whoa. And then she yeah. left Edge. She wouldn't even stay on the Edge because she didn't have faith in her own physical gameplay. To, to to get back in it's rough it you know definitely i recall yeah. her being in a challenge with russell when they were on a tribe and she was just anchoring russell down russell was like they were tied together and they had to get through this rope course or this obstacle mm -hmm. course and sandra was like like completely anchored down and russell was just like what are you what are you doing so i i just don't have anything really positive about sandra's gameplay yeah physically, i think i think quitting Edge of Extinction is definitely the cherry on top of her being F tier, honestly. Yeah, I think that pushed it over the edge. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, all now, right. Rich, I would Not say. Not much to say about Rich, but. Low B. I would say low B. Because, I absolutely agree. You know, he had a good work ethic, he was good at fishing. I feel like I'm a broken record right now <laughs> with the good fishing and the good work ethic. Well, no, I think he was an excellent spearfisher. Watching him yeah. spearfish made me like, I was like, oh, I could never freaking do that. He had like, no fear of the elements. He literally, I mean, okay. No, he this, bit a shark. He, he bit a shark that bit him. He walked around naked. He walked around naked in the elements. And I know that that's, that's controversial, obviously, but that should be considered in physical like there are, so there are social elements to walking around naked, but to bring it to a physical <laughs> situation, he participated in a couple challenges naked in All Stars. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you what? Why are you competing <laughs> naked? Does that really give you an advantage? Like I feel like, it, in fact, it exposes you to possibly more problems, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you leave that aside, he did win the fire making immunity in season one when he needed that, which in my opinion is special. Mm -hmm. And he's an excellent spear fisher. He provided for the tribe. I think that kept him in the game more than it maybe would have if he didn't. So I agree. I think, I think you put him in a good spot. I just think, I just think walking in the elements naked is a very, like, I, I, it's just like, there's so many things. Like, he literally was dancing with the snake. Like, that just shows you. It's not, you know. It's, he it's threw a snake, daycare. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, Sari. Ah, oh, man. I, 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 uh, I don't know. I, I want to put her in D tier because yeah, I love Suri. Yeah, yeah. I think because she never quit. She never quit the game, right? Not yeah. even if she was placed on edge. Maybe she would have. We don't know. But she wasn't in that situation. So she never left the game out of bad faith for her physical gameplay. So I think it's smart to, to put her in the D tier like you did. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's her heart, you know? She has arguably the most heart of any survivor. She went out on the island knowing damn well that she is not going to do well in the physical aspect and she just kept it just kept going getting up and i think that that honestly i i, I kind of want to put her above rob for, just for that i don't know well the reason why i wouldn't put her above rob let's let's put her behind rob and let me let me uh explain why mm. she didn't quit the game but she had some moments where i don't know why she, i mean okay Number one, she lasted, I think, three minutes on the individual immunity challenge where you have to stay on a pole. Mm -hmm. So three minutes? I mean, three minutes? I think Sandra could have lasted longer than three <laughs> minutes. Uh, she lost the fire-making tie breaker, and it was pathetic, in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> um, both of them were, but she, okay, she I'm, lost. I'm talking purely heart, all right? I'm not talking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, just kidding. Yeah, no, I mean, her heart drives her through. <laughs> yeah. I, but then she stepped down 20 minutes in that... Uh, I think it was the arm water bucket challenge. Again, you know, a different season, but she stepped down go for ahead, candy. Go ahead and pin uh, Justin's comment. I think, I think that just shows that you're right, that she should be low D. Her first words were... I'm scared, I'm scared of, leaves, of leaves, and I'm yeah. not good at things. 
<laughs> there you go, Justin. You said it great for both of us. Yep. Um, she's scared of leaves and she's not good at things. So we'll put her right in the D tier, right below Rob. And now we're getting to the we're getting Another to the nitty Rob. gritty. The final three. And this is gonna be tricky, I think. These these <laughs> these next three, I would say. Will will Ozzy get over get like overthrown? I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe, maybe not. Not by Rob, I don't think. But <laughs> Okay. I think Boston Rob, I think you're I think he goes. No, I would put him behind Ah. Uh, uh, it's complicated because he had some really bad seasons. He carried his whole family on his back, Cam. But he did do that <laughs> twice. In All Stars and Redemption Island, he had some incredible immunity wins that you can't discount. And they were physical and they were impressive. Um, yeah. I think you do have him in a good spot. He did have a lot of season. I would even maybe put him. Above Honestly, back. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this because he he's a phenomenal. He's phenomenal at camp. He's phenomenal. In, I, the survivor aspect. I feel like he's really good. Honestly. Well, there. But, th- th- okay, this is my argument. Let's hmm. put him between Tyson and JT, and let me explain why. Okay. Okay. Let me this. There are a few downfalls of Rob that I remember that I think are important to bring up. Mm. Number one, he lost a food eating challenge for his tribe. Not much. Some may argue phys- that food isn't even physical at all. I so, would say that's strategic, but that's just okay. Me. So let's you can, throw you that can, one out the window. Because an advantage to that challenge is that you could just trick yourself that you're eating a meatball or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, mind over matter. Right. Yeah. Let's let's take it. Let's take it past that. Let's throw that out the window. Okay. Mm. He did this thing in, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, he did this thing in Marquesas where he needed immunity to win. And he got really cocky balancing himself over water. And then he started splashing water on other people and he lost his balance and he fell. And I'm pretty sure that's when he got voted out. Like, why are these great physical players making these terrible, like, stupid uh, mistakes in their physical gameplay that gets them voted out? Now, yeah. that was his first season, so you can give him some leeway here and there. On mm-hmm. um, Redemption Island, he did have that situation. He was hanging over water in an individual immunity challenge with everybody else around the bar. He was the first one to hit the water, I'm pretty sure. That's not good. And then last but not least, Heroes versus Villains, he was helping his tribe out with the shelter, and I think that's incredible, good work ethic. And I think that's why mainly why I would put him so high up in the A tier as far as I've done or along with your words and my constantly changing opinion. I, (laughs) I see that his work ethic and the shelter building was phenomenal, but he had this weird situation in heroes versus villains where he completely just collapsed and the medical team had to go investigate him. And they were like, what's wrong? But they didn't find anything wrong with him. And he said nothing. And, and he was like, apparently he passed out. Mm. That's that's all. Va- I'm not sure what that was biologically yeah, speaking. Yeah, I I I wouldn't you know I wouldn't be like oh shit yeah you're right he's down here now. No, no. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like what, what, that is definitely something important to keep in mind. That yeah, I mean well, I feel like it another, affected. Another thing that I this won't add or detract I would say, but in Edge of Extinction on Winners at War, he didn't quit when the challenge was over. And mind you, he probably should have <laughs> because like it wasn't for anything. He was just kind of doing it for pride. But that's definitely something to keep in mind. Like he his work ethic and his like I think we move ability. him I think we move him above Tom. Really? I think I think um I think I think Justin makes a good point. Um most individual challenge wins only made the merge twice. Uh he started yeah. the fire. That's right. He did. He used a fire saw and helped his whole tribe get fire on day one. Um, and he was a good fisher. And all. Justin, you've nailed it. I think, I think, thank you, Justin. I think mm-hmm. you might've opened our mind a bit. I would put Honestly, him above. Tom. Yeah. I was, I was thinking above JT for sure, but I think that that honestly you, just Joe. hits the nail on the head right there. Or, yeah. yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I, but I also do think that might be just because of how many seasons he's had to show off these attributes i mean okay another thing he was literally on island of the idols to help people with physical aspects of survivor you could say that That's he showed sure. him how to make a fire yeah 
I, I I totally agree with Justin, and I totally agree with you that he deserves to be a tier at the top. Okay, Parvati. Now this is interesting. I'll let you decide this because I genuinely flip of a coin for me. I would put Parvati under Amanda, but above Jeremy. Mm. Um, Parvati. She. How do you feel about Parvati? I think Parvati is good physically, like it's Survivor, but it has never been her most, you know, her best, you know, aspect of Survivor. So I, I'm honestly kind of thinking like, well, a hold little me, bit below. Let me, let me bring hatch. my, let me bring my defense attorney in on this one for Parvati. Let me hear this. She did win four challenges. Okay. Yeah, that is, yeah, very. The arm water point. one that we've talked about quite a few times in this podcast. She won that twice in her season of. I'm pretty sure it was Micronesia, and then she also won it in um, Heroes versus Villains, which I think is pretty good. Something mm -hmm. to bring up. Yeah, definitely. I that just, being said, when I think of poverty, though, I don't necessarily think of her work ethic around camp, though. Yeah, I get that. I agree. And she probably didn't have the best. Looking at the other people in uh, B tier, I think it's it would be kind of crazy to put her above Hatch in terms of that because Hatch did more uh, physically demanding things, I would say. But the four immunity idol win uh, immunity blah, blah, blah. the four individual immunity wins puts her in B tier. I would say. I think I would put her above Richard. And the reason I say that is just because she's had more opportunity again to show her physical skills. She's won more mm. challenges than Richard, and now she obviously I think she wins more challenges than Jeremy as well. But yeah. I think Jeremy uh, in those tribe immunities, he was a huge force. <laughs> yeah, I so. I, I, I can agree with overhatch. I, I don't yeah, you know, let's let's put her back where she was. Well now now but no, there are some negatives to bring up. I uh, she, I, she, I think I think her work ethic around camp is what's kinda making me think to put her below. Yeah, hatch. she cut her thumb with a machete. So that that's not good. I mean, but she went through that. Like she I think that that's a plus. Well, yeah, and then and then she I think she won the uh the one the challenge right after that even with the injured finger. So that's, that's, I that's, feel that's like a, a lot of people would have medically quit in that situation. Not a lot. Okay. There would, there would have been people that have quit that would quit in her situation. That would be sad. Yeah. That would be sad. Oh, that'd be, <laughs> she got her face busted up in, in one, in one challenge in, in this rope course where you had to be like tied together with other I people. Think, I think poverty's a beast. I just, I I'm having trouble just, I, I'm having trouble whether work ethic or challenge wins. The reason why I put her above Jeremy and Richard is because her challenge wins, I feel like, for the most part, was More during times where she well. when she needed it. So that's where it's yeah. impressive. The arm the arm one, let alone, is like, yeah, yeah. I, I think that that's impre impressive. Through the temptations and all that good stuff. So I, I think poverty is good where she is. She won a decent amount of immunities, times when she needed it. Mm -hmm. Work ethic wasn't the best but you know it helped her win the game her her physical yeah. gameplay so definitely definitely you know now i think he's here's gonna be the biggest debate the, of tonight. the last but certainly the not least tony vlacho cam he's i think five. i think i think tony should be up here and I, i'm just gonna i'm gonna sit on my soapbox i'm gonna have my ted talk real quick i okay. think tony played the best uh not strategic physically uh, the best physical survivor winning game. I wouldn't say the best physical survivor game next to Ozzy, but best winning game because Tony literally won four immunity challenges in winners at war and was not voted out when he lost. And that just, I mean, I guess that is a part of social game, but like that just shows you like he's just a monster and I think he, it's important to bring up that he also won when he needed it. Yeah. And those are crucial times to win based off your physical gameplay. And he was no slouch either around camp. He was, you know, uh, back to the immunity idols, like stated earlier. He would be up late, later than everyone else. He would uh, be running around like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, I don't know. I, I personally think that Tony is S here, but I... I want to hear you out. I want to hear where do you think Tony should be? Um oh, 
Sorry, having a mic problem real quick. <laughs> All good. I'll continue my argument. I I just, you know, Tony, he grabbed a shark. <laughs> he grabbed a shark. And I, I don't know a lot of people that would do that. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I don't. Yeah, that was impressive. He did catch a shark. Um, is my mic working now? Yeah, yeah, it's good now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he caught a shark. I thought that was uh, pretty insane, like we mentioned. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put him in S tier personally. Mm. The reason I say that is because he had a few moments. He dropped a paddle, and that caused his char tribe to lose, arguably. Yeah. Um, he did... And uh, keeping in mind Kageon, I guess he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty, pretty trash. In, in terms of individual immunity. And he didn't take it too far in Kageon. I don't think he had any individual immunity wins in Kageon. Uh, no, he didn't. He had one reward challenge, which is the, the mud the mud challenge, getting as much mud on your body. That I don't know if that's physical, but I I don't know. It's but that was very, impressive. I would say that's physical. I would say the It's mud hard for me to look at Tony's winners at war game and not say that that was the best winning physical game. He found and like like Justin said, he found the Tyler Perry idol, and that I, he he said this in interviews. He got like poison ivy. He got covered in poison ivy when he grabbed it. Like wow. you can see in the episode, he's like, "Oh, I gotta go wash up. I gotta go wash up," and he runs off. It's because he he was literally burning. I think I think he's in good physical shape too. I think that's something to keep in mind. But at the end of the day, um, I would probably put Tony right between Tyson and JT. Mm. I mean, yeah, okay. And uh, well, another thing, he beat Sarah in fire making and I know Sarah's in C tier, but he he won the game because of that. Mm. True. Okay, I'm losing I'm losing my argument uh, whether he should be in S tier. I wouldn't put him in there. <laughs> Tony's tricky. Yeah, um, he's really tricky honestly. Cuz we don't know how many of these challenges these guys are throwing. So this is something to keep in mind as well. But when it when it comes to just physical performance, I would put him in between JT and Tyson. But since you put him in S tier, we can put him in front of JT. I if can. That's a good... I think putting him above JT is like where I will. I will. I'll die on this hill. I'll be fine with this. But okay. I I I think I don't know. His winners at war game just really impressed me in ter in every aspect of Survivor. But physically, he dominated. Like okay. he he was just a beast. And uh, here, here we have it. We yes, have... this is it. This is our list, our tier of the physical now, games. Cam, do you think there's anything that we need to adjust? Yeah, uh, let's take I'm... a look real quick. Okay, so Ozzy S tier. Yeah, I think he's with Sandra. <laughs> 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 I, okay, so Ozzy S tier. Boston Rob, top of A tier. I think that's fine. Uh, Tom, yep. Tony, yep, yep, yep. Um... To I, me, it looks like a good list. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if Kim is in the same caliber as these guys, though. In, in I would the put her there because she won, uh, what, a total of six immunity, or a total of five immunity challenges, and like four was in her season, one was in Winners at War. Yeah. Um, okay. But I guess you're right. She didn't arguably need. Actually, let's put her, let's put her behind I would, Russell. I, I would put her there, honestly, because Russell, he, he was. He just, needed it. Yeah, and I feel like in terms of the tribe challenges, he added more than Kim did, I would say. Okay, fair assessment. Now, Amanda, Parvati... I, I kind of want to put Parvati above Amanda. Now, thinking about the machete thing and how she was able to continue playing <laughs> and, like, arguably... I don't know. I, I just think... I think Parvati's a beast, and unless I'm mi misremembering... Uh, Amanda's physical game. I feel like Parvati did more. Uh, she has more challenge wins, right? Um, I don't. I think they might have the same amount of challenge wins. If you want me to be honest, uh, mm -hmm. um, one, two. I think actually, yeah. I think they both have five. Mm. Um, I don't know. I I guess they're kind of similar enough where it doesn't. It doesn't. No, I, I think Amanda has four. So yeah, let's put Parvati in front of Amanda. That's all. That's fair. I, I, but she did have more opportunities. Spice it up a little bit. Yeah, she did have more. But actually, uh, I don't know. I'm stuck. I would. I feel like I would put Amanda in front of Parvati. That's my own opinion. Mm. But it's 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 she, up to winning. You. Winning the final immunity is an impressive thing, and she did it twice, right? 
You saw and it? there was a sumo performance in Heroes versus Villains. That's really kind of what I'm basing it down to. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it's the sumo performance. No, but uh, Amanda was sturdy as sturdy as is like crazy, and she wasn't going anywhere, and she won. Yeah. While Parvati was like disoriented and got thrown right off. So, I you know it's hard to like. Why am I bringing it down to that? But I mean, <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know. looking at looking the back, rest of this. I'm pretty solid with it. I I don't. I mean, yeah. I kind of want to put fair play bottom C, but I I don't know. Um, I'm. I guess we put fair play there because of his work ethic, and Yule had a pretty good work ethic, so I could put fair play behind Yule if you agree. Yeah, I I think Yule. I I keep bringing up the tribe like uh the tribe challenges because it's a very important part of the game, and Yule he's really good at the challenges like for the tribe uh look at winners at war he was doing pretty pretty dang good i would say with his tribe yeah well I, he was all right i feel like it was i mean like i said he was fairly <laughs> average yeah but yeah. let's put him more middle c tier because like i said he was fairly average yeah so i, I i'm i'm happy with this list it looks good to me yeah i yeah, I, I can live with this. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is our tiered list of the top 20 greatest survivor players in their physical gameplay. Uh, there is a link. There will be a link for this kind of tier list in the description. Like Aaron mentioned before, feel free to have mm -hmm. fun. Make your own tier list. Put it on social media. Hashtag Simply Survivor. We'd love to check it out. I will be checking all of them out tonight on the hashtag Simply Survivor. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so he'll be checking them out. Uh, with that being said, if you're not a Patreon already, think about joining Russell Hance's Patreon group. It's a great place to go. It's a good community to talk about survivors. You can even post your tier list there. Um, even Russell may even take a look at your tier list. Who knows? So th there's a great number of opportunities that you can have in joining the group if you like talking survivor and and even Big Brother and the challenge. And they're going to have the challenge uh, episodes coming up with Trish and Kylie uh, after every challenge episode that airs. So if you like the challenge, don't forget to check that out. I think it's important to note that all of our opinions are completely based <laughs> off of recall and research. Um, nothing here is final. Nothing here is yeah, perfect. No. We, Everybody we is going to have never their claiming to be experts here. <laughs> but if you do have an opinion, if you disagree with anything that we've done, or oh, if I you agree I wanna, with anything I that we've it. done, put down your thoughts in the comments. Yeah, we would love to see uh, how you guys feel about this tier list. With that being said, I'm Cameron, and this is Aaron. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and like I said, give us a comment of your thoughts. And um, thanks for watching us. Bye-bye.